Hello my dearest subscribers and viewers, it's me with you again. Today we are going to have a more joyful reason to meet as I promised you last time and today we are going to have the second lesson of the Russian language. So first of all, let's repeat everything that we have learned last time. And what we have learned last time was the first three letters of the Russian alphabet. And they are the first letter R. Small one looks like this. It gives the sound R. The second letter B. And it gives the sound B. The same sound as an English letter B gives, like in the word big, for example. So the sound B. Letter B. And the third letter we have learned previous time was V. And the sound it gives is V. The same as an English letter V in the word victory, for example. And Russian words that we have learned were with these letters were Baba, Ba, Ba, translated as Granny. By the way, you, you can see in some cases, the writing of the letter R like this. The same as in English. Uh, different types of writing. So, next letter, next word, sorry, that we have learned previous time was va. Va. A combination of letters V and R. V and R. B and R. B and R gives Baba, Granny, and B and, uh, B and R give Vava. So, and an expression that we have learned previous time was the most useful one if you are going to come to Russia. Uh, and you are going to have, you are going to introduce yourself and you are going to say, Меня зовут Меня зовут And then comes your name. So if you are going to introduce yourself, you will have to say Меня зовут John, for example. My name is John. Меня зовут John. My name is Boris. Меня Zavut Baris. My name is Lucy. Minya Zavut Lucy. Okay. Enough time for revising things. And now we're going to pass to something new. What we are going to learn today is next three letters of the Russian alphabet and uh, how to help yourself if you got lost and if you want to find something. Expressions that will be very useful if you come to a Russian city or town or wherever you go and you want to find something useful in this place. So first of all our next three letters of the Russian alphabet are going to help us. So, next three letters sound as G, big and small Russian letter G, look like an angle. And it gives the same sound as an English letter G sometimes gives, like in words, 
in words like girl or give if you wish. Sound G, letter G. Next one, letter D. And the small one looks the same as a big one, only it is smaller. It may look strange for some foreign students because it, look, it really looks like a small square put on the top of a big semi-square, unfinished big square. But it is a Russian letter. Get used to it, please. It gives the same sound as an English letter D in all words, like a dog, for example, dog. By the way, if any of you is interested in the translation of an English word dog, it will be sabaka. In the Russian, it's sabaka. But be very careful with this word, because Russian people sometimes uh, swear using this word, sabaka. And uh, sometimes they use the word sabaka as an um, abusive word uh, in order to insult someone, to say something insulting or to humiliate or to abuse someone. They say sabaka. So be very careful with this Russian word, uh, Russian word that means a dog, sabaka. And the next letter, the last letter we're going to learn today is a letter year. It looks the same way as an English letter E, but it has peculiarities in pronunciation and in reading it in words. So, the sound it may give is either combination of sounds Y, A, or simple A, which softens previous consonant sound, makes a previous consonant sound softer. So, if it comes at the beginning of words like yeda, let's, let's use the words that we have learned already. So it's going to be yeda, ye, the. Ah, yeda. It is a word combined from letter Y, D, E, the first letter of the Russian alphabet, A. Y, DA. Uh, it means food. So, look here. We can see a letter Y being in the first position of the word. And it gives the sound ye in this case, ye da. But we are going to learn another word with this letter today, and in that word it will give different sound, a different sound. And this word will be written in different color to pay attention to this. It's a word. And I put a question mark here because it's a question word which means where. Где? I want to pay attention to the fact that in this word the letter year gives us a sound air. G d air. Где? But it makes the letter D sound softer. So it's not D. D. It's 
Duh. 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 So the transcription of this word will look like if to write it in English letters that may be more familiar to you, it will be G soft D E Gde 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 Where Gde And this is the word we are going to learn to help us to orient in a Russian city or town or wherever you are if you need to ask something to ask something about the location so let me clean the board for you I'm leaving here the word где because we are going to need it in the following expressions that we are going to learn today and these expressions are where is where is something something anything you need where is it will be translated into Russian. I'm going to use a marker with green color to make it look totally different. And then you are going to put exactly directly what you need so as you can see there is no is here in English we say where is something but in Russian we say где and after that we directly put what we need so if in English we say where is where is the post for example where is the post in Russian we are going to say где or maybe it's better to write a small letter yeah because it's not the beginning of the word it's anand gdia and directly pochta gdia pochta where is the post gdia pochta we are not going to use is and the in the middle of this sentence. We are not going to use articles in Russian at all because Russian language, the Russian language doesn't have articles. And it omits verbs in such sentences like где что-то, где почта. Some other expressions that you may need are if you are hungry where is the food Где еда? Where is the food? Где еда?
if you allow me to clean it, I'm going to show you some more expressions that you may need. expressions like old expressions without English translation already где еда sorry I'm using handwriting already You don't know Russian cursive yet, so I'm going to use only print letters. Где еда? Where is the food? So, где почта? Where is the post? The post office. So, these two expressions are very useful. Another useful expression you are going to need is about money. What are you going to do if you need money? You are going to ask for a bank. So, um, Another color for English translation. Where is the bank? Mm -hmm. So in Russian it will sound like где Bank. Where is the bank? Где банк? So today we have learned three different useful expressions that will help you not to get lost. Uh, that will help you to find a post office if you need to send a letter or if you need some help and uh, asking about money где еда где почта где банк where is the food where is the post office where is the bank где банк and another question that you may need if you come to Russia for example, you need your rights to be defended and you need help of a police officer. You are going to ask a question that sounds like Where is Where is the police in English? And it is going to sound... Or, where is the police office, as they say? In Russian you are going to ask... Где? Полиция. Where is the police? 
Где полиция? It is not necessary to memorize all the writing that I'm using today, but it is very advisable to learn the pronunciation by heart, because if you need something, it will help you a lot. So, где еда? Where is the food? Где почта? Where is the post office? Where is the bank? Где банк? Where is the police office? Где полиция? So, hopefully I haven't overloaded you with information this time. Hopefully you liked today's conversation with me, let's put it so. Let's not talk about lessons. Let's put about conversation and pleasantly spend time. I like this time spent with you and hopefully we'll meet again soon. If you want me to make another Russian lessons, please let me know and I will continue. I will stay with you in my thoughts. Yours, Wise Life.